Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use PyCharm on your Mac operating system. So for those of you who don't know what is PyCharm, PyCharm is the IDE which you can use to develop Python apps uh, on your Mac operating system or any other operating system, right? So let's see how we can install PyCharm. Now before installing PyCharm, you should have some version of Python installed on your Mac operating system. And if you don't know how to install Python, I have already created a video on that. So you can uh, follow that video and install Python and then come to this video, right? So once you have Python, you can open your favorite browser and search for PyCharm. And one of the top results you will see here will be from jetbrains.com which is the creator of this IDE. So we are going to click on this first link and it's going to open this jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm, right? And here straight away, you will see this download button for PyCharm. So you can click on this download button here, which is going to redirect you to this kind of web page. Here you can see uh, it has detected that I am on the Mac operating system. So it has already selected this option for me. And then under downloads, I have these options. So nowadays, all the Mac operating system have Apple Silicon chips. So I'm going to just use this uh, Apple Silicon chip option, which is going to start the download of the SpyCharm IDE.DMG file. And it's around 1.1 gigabyte file, so it can take some time uh, depending on your internet speed. So once this file is downloaded, we can go to the downloads folder or you can directly click on this DMG file. So I'm going to just click on this DMG file from here itself. Let me minimize the browser. So to install PyCharm, you just need to drag and drop this PyCharm icon into your applications folder. So you just need to press command key on your keyboard if you are not using the mouse, right? So just press command key and then drag this uh, PyCharm icon into your applications folder, which is going to move this uh, PyCharm IDE uh, file into the applications folder. And once that's done, you can go to the apps section here. And then you will be able to see the PyCharm icon into the applications uh, section, right? So this is available here. So once that is done, you can close this and you can also unmount this. So right click on this and then eject PyCharm, which is going to um, eject this uh, DMG file from your Mac operating system. And then let's go to the apps uh, icon and click on the apps icon and then uh, click on the PyCharm option from here, which is going to launch PyCharm IDE on your Mac operating system. So if you are opening PyCharm for the first time, Mac OS is going to give you this kind of warning which says PyCharm is the app downloaded from internet. You Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, we want to open it. So we are going to click on open PyCharm. And then for the first time, it's going to show you this uh, PyCharm user agreement. So just read it. And then once you agree, click on uh, this checkbox, which can confirm that you agree and then click on continue. And once you do that, you will uh, see a few more um, pop-ups. I generally click on allow here and also allow here so that uh, PyCharm can access my uh, folder system and file system and other things, right? So now we can see the next window here. So, in this window, PyCharm is going to ask you if you have uh, any version of IntelliJ IDEA or Visual Studio Code or Cursor or other IDEs. Do you want to import setting from those IDEs? For now, I don't want to import anything from any other app. So I'm going to click on skip import from here. And once I do that, it's going to open the PyCharm IDE. You can see, uh, the simplified uh, UI of PyCharm looks like this. So now you can see a PyCharm IDE has been launched and you can create a new Python script from here or notebook uh, script from here, or you can open some folder from this option. So let's create a very simple Python script and uh, let's try to run it. So for that, you can just click on new uh, script here. PyCharm is going 
to uh, create a sample Python script which you can test uh, using PyCharm and this script looks like this, right? So it's going to print hello and whatever name which is pass passed to this Python method and the name which we are passing here is PyCharm. So it's going to uh, print hi PyCharm, right? So once this script is created, you can see the name of this script is script.py, right? So this is the script which is created. And when you create a script, you can see PyCharm has already created a default folder which says PyCharm miscellaneous project and under this uh, uh, folder, it has created this script.py file. Also, PyCharm creates the virtual environment. You don't need to know everything about virtual environment for now, but uh, it auto creates this virtual environment for you also, right? So once this script is created, you will see this run button on the top. So you can just click on this run button, which is going to run your uh, script and it's going to uh, print high PyCharm, which is the outcome of this script, which PyCharm has created for us, right? Now in the newer version of PyCharm, it also comes with AI chat capabilities. So you can see uh, this option, when you hover over this option, it says AI chat. So when you click on this AI chat option, you can install the AI assistant plugin and it comes with the free trial for 30 days. And once you install this plugin, you can use AI to create your Python script or help you to run your script. And it's going to help you to create your Python project and run your Python project and help you to debug your Python project also, right? So many capabilities uh, can be unlogged when you install this plugin for the AI chat, right? So also using uh, PyCharm, you can debug your Python script. So this is the option for that. So you can uh, add these kind of breakpoints. So when you just uh, hover over this number, you will see this red dot. And when you click on this red dot, it's going to, it's going to add those uh, kind of uh, debug bookmarks. And when you click on the debug Python script, it's going to stop add those bookmarks, right? So we stopped at this bookmarks and then you will be able to see all those variables uh, which are available for those that debugging. And then using those debug options, you can step over or step into that function or uh, move ahead from these options, right? So I can just click on step over which is going to move my cursor to this point. And at this point, the name variable contains PyCharm string, right? So this name variable contains PyCharm string because we have passed this, right? So this is how you can debug also. If you just want to resume your program, click on this resume and it's going to just resume your program and then give you the output. You can also view all the breakpoints using this view breakpoints option and remove all the breakpoints or add more breakpoints from here. So you can see once you click on those breakpoints, you can just remove those breakpoints from here also. Also, you can open the Python console using this option. So click on this option and it's going to just open the Python console from here. You can just use the Python REPL to evaluate your commands, right? Something like two plus two is equal to four or something. PyCharm also allows you to open the terminal. So it's going to just open the Mac OS terminal here. And from here also you can run some scripts or whatever command you want to run it. Also, you have those services options. So you will see all the services which are running uh, in the background. Also, you can link your project with the version control system like Git or uh, any other version control system. And then you will be able to see the changes or control those version control uh, things from your IDE itself. 
Now, if you want to um, add any Python interpreter, right? If you have multiple versions of Python installed and if you want to select the Python interpreter or any other settings, click on this PyCharm option here and then click on settings. And from here, when you click on uh, Python, you can uh, do the settings related to all these options. So for example, interpreter, when I click on interpreter, the current interpreter is this, I can add the interpreter, add local interpreter, right? And uh, PyCharm ID is going to recognize what kind of Python is installed on your system. And then it's going to uh, show you all these options. So you can see I have uh, Python 3.14, which is installed on my system. So whatever you see system here, these are the versions which are installed on my system. If I want other version of Python, is going to allow me to download and install that Python for version from here itself, right? So I can also do that from here. And you can see other uh, settings. For example, I want to do some settings related to Jupyter Notebook or other plugins. I can install the plugins from here, from this marketplace, right? So I just want to show you that all these options are available here and you can use all those options from your PyCharm IDE. So I think that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.